in what in your opinion what's the most effective form of advertising is it internet postal magazines or is it something else that we don't know about I think all of us wish we knew the magic formula um, to what the most effective form of advertising is. I mean, it, it, it's tricky. It really is trial or error. And unfortunately, you need to make a lot of errors before you get the formula right. So you do need to make sure that you do have a budget. And you know, part of that it has to be expected not to work. Um, traditionally, advertising has very much been seen, I guess, as a form of brand building. And I think as fashion brands, we'd all love to do gorgeous, glossy ads with a beautiful model and whack our logo on and pop it into vogue. But unfortunately, we, we just can't do that. And more and more, all of our investors and in our companies you know, are asking for more accountability. So the actual form of advertising has, is, and is changing quite dramatically. Um, nowadays, I mean, obviously, with nowadays, as Arabella mentioned, everyone has access to the internet, and more or less, most brands that are launching do tend to launch with an internet website. Um, when you're looking at advertising online, it, it's not just about banner advertising and um, little button clicks and things like that. In fact, there's a lot of banner blindness that's going on, so a lot of... Um, People in the industry are saying, mm, you shouldn't really go that way. You should think about other alternatives, such as um, sponsoring something that's relevant to your brand or a part of a website. Apparently, it may give a little bit more um, response. The other thing you seriously need to consider is pay-per-click and affiliate marketing. I mean, it is coming slightly into marketing territory, I admit, but it's hugely, hugely important. Pay-per-click advertising is basically when you buy keywords and um, every time someone clicks through these keywords, they go to your website and you have to, pay, you have to pay, pay a little bit of money and you can put a cap on that. But it's really important because 90% of people looking through the internet and searching for something use search engines. So if you can actually advertise your product on those search engines, you're going to obviously inc dramatically increase um, where you're positioned. And as most of us probably don't go through the first couple of pages on a Google search or something, that's quite hugely important. Um, affiliate marketing in comparison is actually where you link up with a number of partner websites. They're almost like portals. Um, a recent one that's launched, which you may be aware of, is osoyou.com, which is almost like a social networking fashion website. It's quite funky and worth having a look at if you haven't already um, looked there. And what happens with that is that they almost promote your products and advertise your products for you, but you don't pay per click that goes through, you only pay per sale. So it can be a much more effective way of working. Um, I guess in terms of um, traditional advertising, such as in magazines and things like that, it's hugely expensive to get a full page. So um, you, need to, you need to be quite creative. Um, something that's really worth thinking about if you are looking to branch into this area is to look at perhaps doing classified ads. They're quite affordable, and if you buy them on a short lead basis, they're very, very affordable because you're getting 40 to 60% off um, the average value of what you'd pay um, if, you were going, if you were going it alone. Um, you can do full pages and classified ads for weekend supplements. You can do tiny little pieces. And obviously, all of the glossy magazines have um, these small classified sections as well. And if you repeat these month after month, it really can help build a brand awareness up for you. Um, when you are advertising, it's really, really important that you can try at some stage to measure your effectiveness. And this is really tricky because advertising is notorious that you, you can't measure it. And obviously, when, when you've got a lack of money or something like that, it, it's pretty much the first area of the marketing mix that gets slashed. Um, ways that you can measure your effectiveness, for example, is offering a 10 or 15% discount and offering a discount code so that people can come into your shop or go onto your website and use that code to get the, get the discount. The other thing that you can do, which we've found at Adili much, much more effective, is for actually when people sign up to your mailing list, is to have a little drop-down menu or ask them, where did you hear about us from? It seems to be that people don't tend to use these discounts, but are quite happy to tell you where they heard about you. So we've found that that's a much better way of measuring response. 
I mean, obviously, there's other areas, um, such as direct mail. We've just done a trial of this, of um, inserts into a number of glossy magazines, such as Red, Eve, InStyle, um, Murray Claire, and Easy Living. If you're, any of your subscribers, you would have seen our insert in your December issue. Um, we're just trialling these at the moment, so it'll be quite interesting to see what the response is. But again, I mean, we've, we've, we've done a big promotion with this, so it's very much about data generating mm. um, and trying to increase our database, which is a very, very important part of the marketing mix.